was really exciting for me about English heritage is to actually view and to be in front of all these beautiful pieces of mostly wallpapers actually and to be able to use them in a way that I've never done before for Designers Guild. I've always really loved working from documents and from vintage pieces but reinterpreting them completely into a contemporary fashion whereas with English Heritage there's this amazing history. So Rest Park is this amazing house, wonderful garden. For English Heritage, they're really starting to connect with this archive now. The space that it is in is not an amazing space yet. It's in the process of being redeveloped. And so we're part of that, and that's really exciting. I think most of the archive was collected in sort of 1980s and it's not about changing that. It is about reinventing them because they are to be used now. But it was just like finding a treasure trove and then being able to use it. It's a fantastic opportunity. The huge task was actually from this beautiful archive putting together a collection. I mean, you have to understand how different fabrics and wallpapers can work together. And then we started by repainting everything. We wanted to reprint in the way that it would have been printed, surface printing so you get this beautiful texture. I mean, to remain as faithful to the original as possible. And then where were these beautiful wallpapers found? I mean, St. John Street Trellis was a wonderful house from the 18th century. Craven Street in Soho, Craven Street. It's so varied, this amazing history. So because I wanted the collection to sort of really work using patterns together, with each group that we've put together, you'll see that there's a linking of the colours. And I think that's what makes it much more helpful to use pattern together, because it can be a little bit messy, but if the colours are really sort of thought through and taken through, you'll find that link actually makes them work together. Also, I didn't want all the papers to be exactly the same. So some of the wallpapers take a part of the pattern. Some are exactly the same, but with different color backgrounds. So it gives a kind of interest in the collection. It's not bland, but it's very usable. And that was the aim, and that's what English Heritage wanted as well. And they're really happy with it, actually. So that's very great. So within the collection, what I wanted was different scale of patterns and for each pattern to be its own right. So Suffolk Garden from this beautiful house in Suffolk. And this is kind of the most chinoiserie of all the patterns. It's got a little bird and butterfly, very beautiful, sort of larger scale, but none of the scale is actually too enormous. Carlisle Fauna, originally this design was just a one color stripe. So that was recreated to be a completely gorgeous all over pattern, almost like a little block print. And then something like St. John Street, this you can use anywhere, it's almost like a plane and it works with everything, this small scale, whether it's fabric or wallpaper. It's almost sort of maximal, but very traditional at the same time. It's quite quirky, I like that. So within the wallpapers, what I'm always trying to do is give our idea of how these patterns can be used together. And that's what I'm trying to do in each page. I've shown, for instance, St. John Street Trellis and used that with Piccadilly Park and Craven Street or just pattern on pattern, the same pattern being used together. And then, you know, how colour makes such a difference to a pattern, whether it's a bright cobalt blue or whether it's shades of grey. It all adds a difference. Something like English Garden Floral as well. I just changed the scale for the wallpaper, whereas the fabric is a little larger scale. And then lots of different ways of using all of these patterns together. I think this bedroom had actually all the patterns in it. Everybody that came past wanted to get in the bed and stay there. You're asking me what is my favorite and that is the worst question but I think I would go with all these blues and I'd probably use Eagle House and St. John Street so I'd mix all of these blues together and it might even be in a very small room so you walk, open the door and it's like a treasure trove. It would be wonderful, yeah, that, that's my favorite.